I'm Contessa. And I'm Sydney. And, and we're, we're Double, Double Trouble. Trouble. Um, for this video, we thought that we would give a list of all the books we think that are really good for Christian girls to read. And you could read these if you're a guy too, but a lot of these Some are going of them, to be... Yeah. yeah, but a lot of them are going to be more girl-centered, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah. So, let's get... Let's on. get on to the video. So, the first book on our list is this one called Holly's Heart by Beverly Lewis. It's a story about well, a girl named Holly, and she's going through life with her best friend. She experiences, like, crushes and moving away and all kinds of different things as a teenager. It's it's kind of funny and kind of <laughs> sad. And, I don't know, I think it's just all around a good book to read. Definitely. It's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so, first book on my list is Finding Father Christmas by Robin Jones Gunn. It's basically about a girl who grew up without a dad. She didn't know who he was. So she grew up with her mom as an actress, but she... I haven't re read this in so long. I don't remember what it's about. She, like, tries to find her dad and then ends up... I don't want to spoil it if you want to read it, but she ends up learning more about him and stuff. And so it's really good. And... It's Finding Father Christmas and Engaging Father Christmas 2 and 1. And then there's a third book, Kissing Father Christmas. So, those are really good. Sounds good. So then, the next one on my list is this book called Jesus Freaks. And it says DC Talk on it, but I'm not sure who the actual whoop, whoop. writer is. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, it's not really a girly book. It's a really just a book of different martyrs and their stories it's I find it like very encouraging and very challenging convicting but I wouldn't read it if you don't like violence because quite frankly these aren't pretty stories <laughs> yeah so second book on my list is spoken for it's also by Robin Jones Gunn and co-authored with Alyssa Joy Beth how you say that? Mm -hmm. But Robin Jones Gunn is my most favorite author. She's an awesome Christian author. Mostly books for girls, but few of them can be for anybody. But this is about like being spoken for and God like calling you and finding your identity in him and like getting to know him and his love. So it's really good. I'm going to say the same thing I said last time. That sounds really good. <laughs> okay. So the next book on my list is this one called The Fiddler by Beverly Lewis. It's about a girl who she plays the violin and her father wants her to play in like more classical music, but she wants to try playing her own style and it's about her and then this Amish boy she meets about, I guess, both of them finding out, I guess, finding their own path, if that makes sense, instead of trying, being, feeling pressured by everyone's expectations of them, so, it's a good story. Cool. Third book on my list is Christy Miller by Robin Jones Gunn, yes. again, my favorite author. But this is like literally longest series ever. <laughs> Not really. It might be like one of the longest. But it starts out, she's in high school dealing with friend issues, peer pressure, crushes. Kind of similar to Holly's Heart. But it's really good. Goes all the way up through her senior year when she graduates. And then there's another series called the college years, it's about her, and then it goes on to her married and baby years, which I won't tell the whole titles for that because it will ruin it if you read them. But some of the other, like this is a humongous series with little mini series in it. One of the friends she meets in this book, Katie Weldon, has her own series with like her life in college and married. 
And then in the very last book of the high school series, she meets a girl named Sierra Jensen. And then she has some books about her. So it's like really long. And then it goes on to like Sierra about her high school and graduating and then like her love life and getting married and stuff. So it's really good. So yeah. there's also a series like this with the, called the Glenbrook series. It has Christy in it and some other characters. And two of the books is are about two people sh Christy meets in her own series. So if that made sense at all, like they're so long, but they're like my favorite book series ever. Yeah. So they're really good. Mm -hmm. I've read the first one. Well, first few yeah. so far, and I've seen the collection on her shelf. <laughs> it's massive. Yeah, it takes up a whole shelf, like mm -hmm. on my bookshelf, bookcase, a whole shelf, like. Mm. Almost didn't fit any. Even the Glenbrook series had to go below it because there's so many books. But really good. You should check them out. Mm -hmm. The next one on my list is called Golden Philly by Lorraine Snelling. It's about a girl who she rides horses and that's her passion. And she lives on a farm with her family. They care for horses. And it's it's a series and it's about her like learning different things about I guess her own life about her family and I don't know she goes into horse racing I think I'd call it a romantic book I don't remember mm -hmm. I haven't read that in so long same <laughs> so yeah it's good if you like horses you should check it out <laughs> yes <laughs> So the fourth, yeah, fourth book on my list is called Praying for Your Future Husband by Robin Jones Gunn. Again, my last <laughs> book by her that I brought and co-authored with Trisha Goyer. So obviously by the title you can understand what it's about. But in the Chrissy Miller book, she starts like praying for your future husband when she's on her 16th birthday. She starts writing letters to him. And so... Obviously, I told you that there's a married series, so I won't tell you who. But she gives the letters to him on her wedding night, so it's like really special. Yeah. So I thought that was a really good idea, and this just kind of explains what to pray for for him, and to like pray for yourself to like prepare yourself in your heart and get right with God and like mm -hmm. be ready to meet him. So it's really good. Yeah. Wow. I'm gonna have to borrow that from you. You should. It's really <laughs> good. All right, the last one on my list is a classic, I think, Little House on the Prairie. This is only, this book only has the first three in it, but I'm sure you've all heard of it by Laura Ingalls Wilder. I think it's a really good classic, but it's kind of a simple book. It tells about just her life and the things that they go through every day and different adventures that she has and I don't know. It's a, it's a good book to like start reading. I read these when I was like 10 or 11. So nice. If you're, I guess if you're younger and you're trying to get into reading really long series, this one's a really good place to start. That's good advice. Yeah. So the last book on my list is Redemption by Karen Kingsbury. She is like my second favorite author. She's amazing. This book, oh my goodness, it's a series with like five books, I think. I'm reading the second. This book made me cry. Like, it's literally the saddest book I have ever read. And it's not the first book I've cried over, but this is the saddest book. The second one is just as sad. But this one is like, I don't want to give too much away, but a girl named Carrie Baxter, she got married. Her, ma her married name is Jacobs. Her husband is a professor and just like they have marriage issues and stuff and then I'm not gonna get too much away I hope but it's called redemption and so it's like kind of giving hope to people who so they can be like be redeemed like Jesus can redeem anyone no matter what you've done and what you've gone through so yeah. it's like a really hopeful book but it's so sad oh, but cool. it's really good yeah. I think it's cool that you have, it's like a, it's a fiction story, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but it has, it has that truth in it, 
Yes. A lot of truth, a lot of hope, mm -hmm. and a lot of Bible verses that will help oh. helps the characters go through their stuff. Oh. And the second book has 9-11 events in it. Oh, wow. So it's like a fiction with a little nonfiction in it, like some oh. real events, but That's it's fiction. Cool. So, yeah, it's sad, but oh. really good. Oh, wow. I'm going to have to borrow that one from you, too. You should. <laughs> Call me if you cry. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell at the bottom so you can be notified for all our videos. And we're going to put links to all the authors of these books in the description. Except for Laura, Laura Ingalls Wilder. Obviously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and also we weren't sponsored by any of them. No. No. But these are really good books. You should totally check yeah, them out. Definitely. So, yeah. I guess that's it. Yep. So, don't, don't travel out. out.